Oh, yes. I was just reading this chapter 9A.40 RCWs. Yes. Kidnapping, unlawful imprisonment, custodial interference, luring, trafficking, coercion of involuntary servitude. Oh. <laughs> now, I had mentioned that kidnapping in the second degree. Yes. And then the unlawful imprisonment of myself for a crime I didn't commit to neither Squim or Brandon Washington. Yes. And then there's the custodial interference in the first, second, and, and uh, first and second degree. Yes. As a father, I have right to have custody of my sons. And every time you decided you wouldn't enforce the laws. Yes. That whole concept of the respondent has to have notice uh -huh, and the opportunity to be heard. Pooch. That would violate uh, 9A.40 or .60. I'm not in a hurry, so I'm just going to go through this. Yes, he is. Huh? Now, the custodial interference on the part of the courts. Yes. To abduct means uh, to restrain a person. Yes. 9A.40.010. Yes. Kidnapping in the second degree. Oh. <clears throat> person is guilty of kidnapping in the second degree if he or she intentionally abducts another person under circumstances not amounting to kidnapping in the first degree. Oh! Ah, uh, the actor is a relative of the person abducted and the actor's sole intent is to assume custody of that person. Uh, nothing contained in this oh, paragraph shall constitute defense to the prosecution and preclude a conviction. <laughs> Now, I mentioned that Class B felony where you decided to issue a court order and I was in jail on Guam. Yes! And I wasn't given notice and I wasn't given hearing. Poo poo! The second degree! Oh, look at that! Now, uh, the usual restraint, so on and so on. Parent acting under the direction of the parent. Yes. Uh, it is. Oh, oh, oh. Now, as we go through this, uh, expose it to substantial risk of illness. Yeah. So variability, a custodial interference in the second degree. Oh, look at that. A relative huh, of a person is guilty of custodial interference uh -huh, uh -huh, uh, in the second degree if the intent to deny access to such person by a parent, guardian, institution, agent, or other person having a lawful right to physical custody of such person. <laughs> that would be custodial uh, interference in the second degree. Ooh. Now, a parent of a child, right, this is a court order making residential provisions, yes, is a gross misdemeanor, pooch. But if you look at custodial interference in the first degree, mm -hmm, a relative of a child on the age of 18, incompetent with intent to die, access, expose a child incompetent, person substantial, cause the child incompetent, removed from the state of usual resident restraints, detains, yes. A parent of a child is guilty of custodial interference in the first degree if the parent takes, entice, retains, detains, or conceals a child with the intent to deny access of the other parent having the lawful right to time uh, with the child. <laughs> now, when you didn't obligate actual notice of the hearings for the dissolution of marriage, pooch, and uh, you didn't give me any actual dissolution of marriage, and pooch, you decide you continue to reissue protection orders without the actual enforcement of the laws. I would say that that's custodial interference in the first fucking degree. And it's kidnapping. Pooch! Child abduction. Now, I told you it was against the law to issue that fucking protection order. Now, I'm going to sue every police officer that's allowing for the custodial interference of the judiciary without any authority or jurisdiction of law. Yes, he is. I'm going to sue all of those oaths of office that think that it's not just kidnapping. Oh, my gosh. Child abduction, custodial interference. Oh, in the first degree. Now, uh, luring and then uh, let's see here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Trafficking in the first degree. Ooch, recruits. Oh my golly. Now I'm really upset today. Coercion of involuntary servitude. Ooh. Oh, destroy documents. Oh, threatening to modify. Oh, 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 oh. Now, um, I noticed that uh, this mis criminal mistreatment of the first, second, and third degree findings and intent. Joe, 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 Joe. I'm going to need to know because this kidnapping registry and sex pedophile registry that every... Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> See, 
when you did not enforce my actual rights on July 8th of 2011, yes, and you decided I didn't have any right to notice in hearing, yes, my wife was actually guilty of child abduction and kidnapping at that time, pooch, with the intent of custodial interference. <laughs> Now, I'm going to want to know every individual that's been guilty of kidnapping oh, or being a sex predator everywhere in the nation. <laughs> and then I want to know when the sheriff's department doesn't enforce uh, the kidnapping uh, and uh, sex offender registry where my wife was uh, given a, uh, uh, what's it called again, a teaching certificate. Pouch! What's the actual felony? I mean, the crime. Uh, when I go to suing every school district <clears throat> for refusing to acknowledge that without... Oh! Oh! She should have been on the actual sex offenders registry for over seven, uh, six years. Yes, yes, yes. Um, see, when you file for... Oh! Tell me exactly what the actual crime is for not prosecuting somebody!